come back out to Burns Auto Salvage in Benton High to see if they got something different out there, anything different they brought in. I did a few videos on it uh, oh, five or six months ago. It was the first article uh, Roadkill did on me was on them. You know, I, <laughs> something I don't really have nothing to do with this, but uh, I always read my comments and take them to heart, you know, I respond to them. 99% of the people, 99.9 .9, I'll say, are helpful and if they got something bad to say, they keep it to themselves. But credit, you know, correct the criticism, you know, I always appreciate that. Well, there's this one guy, I think he's got like 300 subs, and uh, which is good. But a couple times he's like, um, you need to edit your videos to get more views. And I thought, well, you know, maybe I'll check out what this guy's doing. And, uh, and see, you know, maybe he's, and, uh, no names, but I check him out, and all the videos he's done, a week old or so, they've got eight, nine, ten views, and he does edit, but, uh, it just shows that editing videos does not equal in views, uh, I think there's a, an audience for that, but there's also an audience for people that, uh, want to see your mix you know your mess ups your misspellings your misspeaking you know and so, you know i kind of let it bother me after the second you know comment well, not really bother me i thought well maybe it's something i need to do and no one's telling me but after looking at his channel which you know 300 subs is good but i see where he's editing the videos and getting 9, 10, 11, 12 views within a week, so I think that's uh, proves that you don't need to edit to get views, and I'm just going to keep doing what works for me, like I always said, keep being you guys it'd be sad if we's all the same some people like to to criticize you because you're not the same or you're not what they are don't let it bother you. Let's move on. I'm going to put this down. Unless we find something on the way, guys. I found some nice yard art. It says the cleat was last used in 65, I believe that. It's a 1929, 1930 Chevy pickup. And it is rough. It's out my buddy's Joe's house where I got the Scottsdale and the MGB off of. And can't think what else I got off of. But he's crusty. Somebody would fix that up, though. That's pretty darn cool. Nice yard art there. Nineteen thirty-one. I said twenty-nine or thirty before, but it's the thirty-one. Thing about it, it's rusty, but it is complete down to the big belt on the front. It says it was the last license plate in 1965. Yep, here's the black plate. Pretty cool. I'll just add this on with the rest of it. The perfect yard art right here. 1919 Chevrolet. There's the rest of the hood. As you can see, it's pretty far gone. It's like a classroom though. You could see how everything back in was made out of wood and the metal just, just like on a building, just tacked on the side. I think the back end's the best shot on this one. It's got the cool old reed light the bottom right here. Guys, 
kerosene light. <laughs> Look at the door handle, guys. That's so cool. It's original glass. No safety glass back then. No safety glass back then, huh? 2005 Rumblebee with the 345 horsepower Hemi. This is the rear version with top delete. <laughs> He started it up. They got the Cadillacs cut off it, but it starts right up. But, see how it buckled the bed. A lot of parts. Somebody, that dry train would be nice. Beautiful country out there. Let me show you what came off of it. There's why it's cut off. It's lucky he didn't get hurt real bad in it. God was looking over him. Keep being you guys.